Recently, Stony Stoner released a video talking about communism in Minecraft stoneworks. So what's the verdict on this? Does communism work in Minecraft? No, of course not. And the nation that he described in his video was not communist. By the end of this video, you will have a full basic understanding of both the free market and communism and why it doesn't work, especially not in Minecraft. So let's say we have a village and a bunch of people live in the village, but two of them are Bob and Jerry. Both of them are in the diamond business. Bob mines 40 diamonds and Jerry only mines 10. Jerry kills Bob and takes his diamonds. This is what happens in an anarchy system. Now let's reset. Bob mines 40 diamonds, Jerry only mines 10, but this time Jerry can't kill Bob because Bob paid Alan two diamonds in taxes in exchange for defense. Then a fourth person, a wild barbarian shows up and they're threatening to raid anyone with an unprotected diamond mine. So then Jerry decides to pay some of his diamonds to the government as well, thus buying in to the system. Alan is now the government. Now eventually, everyone in the village is paying Alan for their defense. He is now the lord of this village. But Alan starts to become corrupt. He is abusing his powers. He promised to build roads with the money or new walls for the village. But instead, he spent it all on himself. So the villagers band together and overthrow Alan. Instead of replacing him with a new overlord, they decide they should vote on a new leader and limit how long he can be in power for and what his power should be. Now it's a republic paired with a free market economy. So, what happens in a communist system? Let's say uh, a few years pass in the village, Alan comes back. He promises that he wants to introduce a new economic system called communism and that they are going to share the resources, spread the wealth around, he says. This sounds pretty good to everybody. Even Bob thinks this sounds like a good idea. So they vote Alan back into power and they tell him he can do whatever he wants with the economy. Here's what happens. Bob mines 40 diamonds, Jerry mines 10, the government comes in, and instead of collecting a small percentage in taxes, they redistribute the diamonds in the interest of equality. They take all 50 diamonds, they give Bob 15, they give Jerry 15, and they keep 20 for defensive purposes or whatever. Jerry is super happy with this. He got five additional diamonds, and Bob is furious. He had to hand over over half his wealth. But what can Bob do? If the country is a democracy, maybe he could vote for change. But even if he could, there's probably way more Jerry's in the village than Bob. Plenty of people who could outvote him. So he tries to leave. But then he discovers the village wall finally got built. But it's not to keep the barbarians out this time. It's to keep him in. Alan now patrols the walls with his gaze inward. There is nothing Bob can do except stop trying so hard. Why make 40 diamonds if he doesn't keep to, if he doesn't get to keep them? So he reduces how much he makes, lower and lower, until eventually Bob makes 10 diamonds and Jerry makes 10 diamonds. But the government still comes in and takes it all for redistribution. They give five diamonds to Bob, five diamonds to Jerry, and keep 10 for themselves. Now everyone lost. Even Jerry is poorer than when he started, but at least they are equal. So I hope you enjoyed this story. This is why communism doesn't work. It doesn't work in real life. Obviously it doesn't work in Minecraft. Um, the wall that I'm talking about is the Berlin Wall that happened in real life because so many people wanted to leave that they had to build a wall to keep people in and they would shoot people if they tried to cross this wall. It doesn't even work on paper uh, with just a simple thought experiment like, like I just did. You can completely dismantle it. Um, I can understand, you know, people want to role play that in Minecraft and whatever, you know, you do you, right? But if you actually try to do an actual communist system, your nation in Minecraft is going to fail super hard. And that's why 
none of the nations that say they're communist are actually communist. Thanks for watching.